Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November. Now, this reading may not be for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, it could happen at any time in November. I, you may hear me cough during this reading. Um, I have a, a pretty good chest cold going on in there. Um, so if you hear me cough, that's what it is. Uh, but anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November? Oh, we got a couple. What do we have for Aquarius? Interesting, Libra got this as well. You, you will receive a gift. So you are going to be receiving a gift in November. Well, great worry over nothing. So there's great worry over nothing. Uh, you're worrying about something that you don't need to worry about. You are going to be receiving a gift, an unexpected gift, okay? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Door. So there's probably a new doorway that is opening for you. Or somebody's going to be coming through your door. That's what I just saw. Somebody walking through your door. Ooh. I feel like you got somebody who's watching you. They're watching you very intently from behind the scenes. You got somebody here that is definitely, I don't know, maybe it's a, somebody that's doing, they're investigating you or they're watching you or something like that. It could be a secret admirer or there's somebody that is behind it. It could even be a stalker. I mean, you just got to be honest. Ooh, it's a secret admirer. So you have a secret admirer here. I don't know. Kind of scary. What do we have? What do we have for, it could be scary. I mean, but this one's holding a gift. So I think that there is somebody here that is, you are going to be receiving a gift from somebody. Hmm. But you're, you don't need to worry because it says great worry over nothing. So don't worry about it. Okay. We got two. We're going to have to take them both. We got two. First one is three of Ariel. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So this is the three of pentacles. So you're going to be working together with somebody, doing what you love. Queen of pentacles, mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. So this is definitely a time of growth, okay? Some of you may be taking on this energy or, or you're dealing with a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it's a time of growth. It's a time of nurturing. Um, very, very, very interesting. You're going to be working with somebody that, I don't know, you may be getting a new job offer from somebody or whatever. If this isn't a job offer, this is something that is solid, that is stable, that is real. Somebody that will nurture you and take care of you. I mean, the queen of pentacles. So you're, this could also be a business uh, proposition of some sort. What do we have for Aquarius? Moon reversed. And the challenge is the Knight of Swords reversed. So all is not as it seems. You need to really look, look deep, look deep. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. Somebody may have not been communicating. They were hiding something. There probably is going to be some communication that is coming. Could be from a Pisces. Could also be from a Taurus, Virgo, or obviously Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Um, we may have somebody here that is fearful, but this is a release of fear. They've been afraid. They've been afraid to approach you. This person may be approaching you. Four of Swords reversed below you. That's the basis. Uh, strength in the past. Seven of Swords reversed in the present. Fool reversed. In your future. Six of Cups. Page of Cups. Queen of Swords. And the Chariot. <laughs> Mm. And the, on the bottom of the deck is the world card. So a completion of a cycle. This is success. Maybe even some public recognition. You may be getting some public recognition this month. I don't know if you're getting you. Some of you could be getting a business offer or, you know, an opportunity to work with somebody publicly. You know, this may be somebody that's watching you from behind the scenes. You're definitely going to be receiving some sort of gift. Queen of Pentacles holds a gift. You know, this could be a business opportunity. I don't know why I want to keep saying that, um, but I do. Um, it doesn't have to be, though. Um, the future is the fool reverse. So there's, I feel like there's been a missed opportunity, or there's been, or there's some unfinished business, or there's foolish behavior, or you, or there's fear. You're gonna have to replace your fear with faith. This may require a move. It may require traveling. Because of the fool is right above it is that chariot up there and the outcome that's moving, traveling, going in a new direction, moving very fast towards victory and success and abundance because that chariot is touching that queen of pentacles. I think that you are definitely moving in a, in a positive direction. Um, some of you, I feel like you're going to be put on some sort of stage. Okay. You see, this is a stage. You know, I feel like you may be put on center stage or or something or put in the spotlight or something like that i feel like there's something about your authenticity that is being admired okay i think you're going to receive be, be receiving a message you're going to be receiving a message that makes you really happy this is from somebody that has definitely been admiring you they have been watching you there's also somebody in your past okay there's somebody in your past this may be somebody that you've worked with before or somebody from your past if this is a relationship somebody from way back somebody from your childhood maybe somebody that you went to school with or somebody that you grew up with or there could be a little bit of an age difference here i do feel like there you are going to be receiving a message from somebody that has been admiring you from afar okay um there's been some sort of delay this person has been afraid They've been afraid. Maybe they've been afraid to come clean or afraid to own up or something like that. Um, but I feel like they're finding their strength. They're definitely going to find their strength. They see you as somebody that is very, very strong, that has overcome a lot of obstacles in your life. Um, the basis of this situation is is the Four of Swords reverse. That's, that's fed up. That's it's time to live. It's it's time to come out of seclusion. It's time to stop isolating. We have somebody here that has been taking a break, you know, maybe healing from something or isolating themselves. And I feel like we have somebody here that's been laying low. They have been laying low. Um, above you is the Seven of Swords reverse. So I feel like maybe somebody's going to be coming clean. They may be telling the truth. And the Moon card reverse is telling the truth as well. That is like reality. Truth's being revealed. Somebody's been hiding something. They've been hiding something and the truth is about to come out. And for some of you, I don't know if there's even been some sort of deception here. Maybe there's been some deception in the past. There's, and maybe this person has deceived you in the past and you don't trust this person. You know, you may, there could be somebody from your past that has deceived you that, I don't know, maybe this person wants to reconcile. And I don't, and when I say reconcile, it doesn't mean maybe they just want to apologize. You know, maybe it doesn't mean that you're going to go be with them. Maybe they just want to make amends. I don't know. Um, fool reverse. That's foolish. That's reckless. That's. That's uh, unfinished business. You may have some unfinished business with somebody. Um, your outside influence is the Page of Cups. So a message is definitely coming from somebody. This could be your gift. But I think that your gift is coming from, from 
uh, an older person. I don't think it's coming from somebody that is young. I think it's from somebody that has worked hard, that is stable, that is solid, that has some sort of abundance in their life. A page is, it could be somebody that is young, but it could just be this abundant person that is acting on their feelings. Anyhow, a message is coming. Um, it's a welcome message. It's good news. Okay, it's unexpected news. You're going to be receiving an unexpected message from somebody. It could be from your childhood. Somebody from your childhood or somebody that you grew up with when you, when you were younger. And you may, you, you know, we got that Queen of Swords. You may have your guard up. You may not trust this person. Maybe this person... Um, lied to you or deceived you in the past or something to do with this person they ghosted you or they gaslighted you or they abused you or they uh, i don't know they did something to you the overall outcome is the chariot that is going in a new direction that is fast forward okay and this person this is like moving in a hurry going someplace in a hurry so i'm not sure if you're going to be going someplace in a hurry you may be go traveling somewhere you're definitely going to be receiving a message it's very authentic it's very truthful it's it's real okay Wh whoever is giving you this message is telling you the truth or they're expressing their feelings they want some sort of reconciliation or i mean the six of cups you know, and and this doesn't this doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be. This could be a child. It could be a family member. It could be an old friend. It's or I mean, it could be a lover, I suppose. But I feel like it's somebody who has deceived you or betrayed you in the past. I feel like it's somebody that you don't trust. They may want to work with you. They maybe they see you as. You know, an entrepreneur or somebody that is very business oriented, somebody that is very strong, that has persevered. They want to work with you now or they want to congratulate you. They want to congratulate your success. And you got the queen of pentacles next to the chariot. The chariot is very determined to be successful. Mm. I feel like you're gonna have to think fast, okay? With the Queen of Swords right next to the Chariot, I feel like you're gonna have to think fast in regards to a situation. This just fell out and flipped on my hand. I'll tell you what it is, it's the Knight of Cups reversed. Anyhow, I do feel like you're gonna have to think fast. You're gonna need to be open-minded. You may need to uh, go someplace in a hurry, okay? You may get an uh, invitation somewhere. Um, Knight of Cups reversed. And the Knight of Wands on the bottom. So there is somebody that is coming in out of nowhere. This is like in a hurry. This is somebody that is... Uh, there's something here that is unfinished. I feel like we have an unfinished business here. I feel like we have an individual that is sad. They're in their feelings and they wanna, they're going to be expressing. They're taking action right now. Uh, this is somebody that is very feisty. Kicking it into high gear. You know, when you get the uh, Knight of Cups reversed, I'm not sure if we have an unrequited love situation here or somebody that has not been listening to their heart. They haven't been following their heart. They may be heartbroken. They may be sad. Their emotions may be all over the place. This is definitely acting on feelings. Okay, this is so we got somebody here that's going to be acting on their feelings. It definitely has to do with you. Um, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could also be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but whoever we're dealing with, it cannot control their emotions and they're going to be taking action. It's like they're emotionally, their emotions are driving them. Their emotions are driving them. So they're going to be acting on their emotions. It's pretty interesting because we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So there's definite action that is going to be taken this month It's going to be action packed. There's somebody from your past that is going to be showing up, okay? Whether it's a child or it's a lover or it's an old friend or somebody is going to be showing up. Um, and you're going to have to think fast and you're going to have to be open-minded and you're going to have to make a decision. Um, may even have somebody here that's sick with the Four of Swords reversed. 
Maybe you have some sort of healing ability. I mean, if you take a look at this, there's a healing. Maybe you have a healing ability, you know, an oppor and this person needs you to help them heal. You know, they're coming to you for your healing ability. Um, you are you are about to receive a message somebody may even be showing up they may be traveling to you traveling to your to your home or you may be going to their home this is somebody that is is just like get this is somebody that is taking a big risk this is fearless a fearless individual that is it's all done thinking about it. This person's thought about it long enough. This is this is somebody that is determined. You know, they they are definitely de de determined. This person is very confident. They have a lot of high self esteem. Very playful. Very playful. There may be even somebody here that is very uh, driven. Extremely driven. So there's there's somebody here that is extremely driven that is entering your life. This is this is uh. I feel like it's unexpected, obviously it is unexpected. Um, there's gonna be an arrival. There is definitely gonna be, a, get prepared. You're, somebody is arriving into your life. They absolutely are. Um, seven of Swords reversed in your present, present. Eight of Swords. There's fear, held back by fear. Somebody's been held back. They've been restricting themselves. But maybe they've come up with a plan to break free from their fear. They have been afraid because the Knight of Swords reversed is fear. And then we had that Knight of Wands, which is no fear. So I think we have somebody here that has been afraid. They have been afraid. They've been afraid, but they're about to break free. They're about to step out of their fear. Finding a new approach. They've been scattered all over the place. Emperor reversed. Woo! Maybe control issues. We may have somebody here that has had some control issues or... Uh, They were being too cold. They were being too rigid. They were disorganized. They were not hmm, finding a way. They they didn't. They could. They hadn't come up with a plan. They were still planning. They were trying to figure out a plan. They were trying to come up with a logical plan to break free from a situation that they were in. So they were probably tied. They were probably stuck in a situation. Now they've found a way. They found a way to escape. And here they come. I don't know how that resonates, but good luck. <laughs>